Health officials in Missouri are investigating the death of a 54-year-old who they say ate raw oysters from a seafood stand. Authorities blame a rare bacteria which doesn't change the taste or smell. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner spoke with farmers in our area to find out if it's a concern here. Here we have a cage of oysters that just came out of the water. Mike Martinson of Montauk Pearl Oysters took us out on Lake Montauk. He says the temperature Tuesday was 60 degrees, ideal for keeping out bacteria like Vibrio vulnificus, also known as VV. It's one of those things that can keep you up at night. VV is what Missouri authorities say was found in a raw oyster that they say led to a man's death. But the executive director of the East Coast Shellfish Growers Association says it's rare in the Northeast. This is a, a species of bacteria that would prefer to be in low salinity waters. This bacteria really loves warm water. It loves, it's happy at 95 degrees. That's why ice is dumped immediately on fresh batches and a shade is put over to cover them from the sun. From Montauk to the Barnegat Bay in New Jersey, farmers say they take extreme precautions, which are also regulated by the states, to keep oysters cool as soon as they are taken out from the water. Matt Gregg of the Barnegat Oyster Collective says he has not seen a case of VV in his decade of doing this. They really only grow when oysters are mishandled. Tags on each harvest notate the time the oysters were taken out and the temperature. Consumers can always ask to see that. Here at the Seabreeze Fish Market on 9th Avenue in Manhattan, the owner tells me these Blue Point oysters are caught and brought to market in the same day. We have an ice box, they have ice boxes. The trucks are all refrigerated. A recent study from Nature.com suggests global warming and its impact on rising water temperatures could increase the number of cases of VV. We have had some global warming, but um, it's been a, like a degree and a half over the last 50 years. He says he is not concerned and that the CDC only reports about 60 infections a year, half of which are wound infections. In Hell's Kitchen, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. And the expert Lisa spoke with says people who are immunocompromised should talk with a doctor before eating raw shellfish.